What's up, YouTube? Que lo que? My name is Christian Ramos, and I'm the one, the only, the curl button. And today, we're going to be talking about the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Line. So stay tuned. Let's go. You are now watching The Curl Poppy. All right, for those who aren't familiar with Bumble and Bumble, they're sold at Sephora and they are on the pricier side of hair care brands. And I exclusively used to buy all of my Diva Curl products at Sephora and that's where I would see the Bumble and Bumble products. And I would always be like, oh, I wanna try them out. But I was so far up Diva Curl's butthole that I never ventured out into any of the hair care brands that they sell at Sephora. Over the holidays, Sephora always makes different gift sets for different brands. And that's how I was able to get this entire line in one bundle. And it is the Bumble and Bumble Sleek Chic on Broadway box. And it has four of the products from the line. It has a shampoo, a conditioner, a mask, and a primer. It does also have an oil in this line, but I don't use oil in my hair. But it's interesting because this line is all about oil. Some of the products are infused with at least six different oils and my hair and oil are not best friends. I always feel like oil weighs down my hair and that's why I didn't purchase the oil from this line separately to try out because me and oil, we're not friends. We don't, we don't like each other. We got beef. We gonna be fighting. This line focuses on repairing damaged hair. So whether it's from heat damage, whether it's from chemical damage, if you have dry hair, if you have frizzy hair, it's supposed to take care of all of those concerns. And we're about to put them to the test. So I recently got my hair trimmed with my girl V Styles and I asked her a bunch of personal questions about hair and my hair in general. And she said that my hair is not damaged. It doesn't have any split ends but she said that my ends were dry and we did do a trim so we were able to get rid of a lot of those dry ends. But we're gonna see if this line is hydrating, if this line is going to reduce frizz, if this line is going to have my hair looking fleeky, bouncy, and popping. All right guys, let's get right into the review. I bought this collection at Sephora, which includes the Invisible Oil Shampoo, which if you buy it full size is $31 for 8.5 fluid ounces. The Invisible Oil Conditioner, which if you buy it full size is $34 for 6.7 fluid ounces. The Invisible Oil Primer, which if you buy it full size is $28 for 8.5 fluid ounces. And last but not least, the Invisible Oil Hair Mask, which if you buy it full size is $43 for only 6.7 ounces. All right, so when it comes to the shampoo, this is a sulfate-free shampoo, which the main ingredients are sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, and a soft flower oil. This shampoo is supposed to provide moisture for dry, brittle hair. And let me just say that once I took the product out of the bottle, it looked like the hair nectar of the gods. It felt like the hair nectar of the gods in my hair because it was super soft and moisturizing. And I was even able to finger detangle my hair. And a little goes a long way because look at all of this lather. But overall, I was super impressed because my hair just felt super popping. And because I recently cut my hair, I just had to do a quick length check. When it comes to the conditioner, I'm not going to blame myself acting like I know how to pronounce these big words, but I'm going to put it up on the screen. As you can see, the conditioner is very thick. I dropped it and I was tight, but you know, we picked it up. I'm lying. We didn't pick it up. We put some new conditioner in my hands and then we applied it into my hair. But it was very deceiving because as thick as it looked, it actually felt like I don't know, like butter or like oil in my hair. It didn't feel like conditioner. It was super easy to distribute throughout my strands. But as you can see, it doesn't look like I have anything in my hair. And overall, after rinsing out the conditioner from my hair, it still felt like I had some in my hair. It wasn't like a filmy feeling or like an oily feeling. It just felt really soft and moisturized. All right, on to the hair mask. The main ingredients are moringa oil and pomegranate seed extract. And very similar to the conditioner, it looks very thick, but when you start rubbing the product between your hands and applying it to your hair, it kind of disappears and melts away. It feels straight up like butter. And there's no way that you're gonna tell me that this looks like I have a hair mask in my hair. It looks like I have a styling product in my hair. And honestly, I love me a lightweight hair mask. And this was it. It felt really, really good distributing it through my strands. And overall, I did enjoy this hair mask. I'm not gonna front. It felt really good. I liked it a lot. 
But we are going to be putting this bad boy to the test because it states to leave it in your hair for 20 minutes and it'll give you about 72 hours of frizz free and shiny hair. So we're about to find out if those claims are true. All right, so the Invisible Oil Heat slash UV Protective Primer is going to be the only styler that comes in this collection. And let me just say that I am a little weary because I already know I like to have a leave-in conditioner. I like to have a cream. I like to put gel, something that's going to give me hold. And honestly, I already know how this is going to end. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to entertain you guys and let you see the results of just applying this primer. All right, I'm going to say that I am hyped that this is a UV slash heat protectant because as of late, I've been diffusing with my Dyson blower. And even though the Dyson protects your hair from heat damage, you always want that extra barrier to protect your hair from further heat damage. And because this is the only styler from the product line besides the hair oil, I am going to make sure that I'm fully saturating my hair to have some type of hold or, you know, some, I don't know, something. Even though I already know I'm not going to get any type of hold from this product, but I am going to fully saturate my hair so that I can prevent trying to do my hair throughout the week. And as you can see, without manipulating my curls too much other than crunching, I did get great definition. All right, so we have a couple of things to discuss. First and foremost, let's get straight into the results. I do want to be super honest. This is not day one hair. This is actually day two hair and it is not a true day two hair because I've been home all day. I haven't been doing my normal errands like going to work or working on my side hustle, which is making decorations. I've literally been home doing nothing and I've been trying to preserve my hair for this video, honestly, for the review. So let's get the price point out of the way. As I mentioned before, these products are on the pricier spectrum of hair care brands. Remember, if you have the disposable income, go ahead and purchase whatever you want. Nobody's gonna tell you how to spend your money. But I'm telling you that these products are gonna be pricier than something that you can find in a drugstore. The only time that I've ever spent more than $30 on a hair mask was for Diva Curl and I don't know, I don't know, $46 for 6.7 fluid ounces. That's not a lot of product for me to justify $46 for. All right, in terms of the products, I love the shampoo. The shampoo was super moisturizing. Brands, listen up, take note. It is possible for you to have a shampoo that does not over clarify your hair and strips it so it can feel like, hey, this shampoo was super moisturizing and it re actually reminded me of the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil uh, line shampoo because once you poured it into your hand, when I say that it looked like a nectar, I don't know if you guys saw like that kind of like oily kind of feel. I don't, it, it didn't feel oily, don't get me wrong, it didn't feel oily. but it looked like it had like a little golden sheen to it. And that's obviously the oils that are infused into it. It's similar to like the Jamaican black castor oil line from As I Am, but it was super moisturizing and I loved it. My hair, when I can finger detangle my hair with shampoo, love it. With the conditioner in the hair mask, you saw that it kind of threw me off because it looks super thick, but when you rub it between your hands and apply it into your hair, and now I know why they call this the invisible oil line because the product kind of disappears into your hair. And honestly, it was super moisturizing. I loved it. Um, again, I don't know if I can do $46 for 6.7 ounces of a hair mask, but I will say that the hair mask was really good. And I'm sure if my hair was dry and brittle, my hair was really moisturized after using it, but if my hair were dry and brittle, God forbid, let's knock on wood because we don't want that. We want healthy hair for 2021. But if it were dry and brittle, I'm sure that this would bring my hair back to life, honestly, because it was that moisturizing. All right, I do wish this product line did have more styling products because honestly, for you to only have a primer as your styling product, I will give it this much. The fact that it's a UV protected, if you live in a sunny, dry place, in a hot area, the sun can affect your hair as far as heat damage. But also, I've been using my Dyson Supersonic Diffuser as of late to dry my hair, so I love that it is also a heat protectant. I already knew I wasn't gonna get too much hold. As you can see, in like right now, I have, I have frizz. And honestly, I don't know any video of mine that's up on my channel that I don't have frizz, but for you to say that it's gonna be, especially with the mask that claims where that you were gonna have like frizz free hair, mm, good try, good marketing, 
but honestly i have frizz that's not something that was eliminated and again this is not day one here but for you to have a primer as your styler i wish that they would have more products in the line because you need something that's going to give you hold and yes my hair looks good right now but after today it's not going to survive today even if i put it in a bonnet even if i put it in a pineapple and take care of it like i did last night past today it's not i'm gonna have to redo this or refreshen it with the primer again because this is not sufficient amount of hold for my hair to last two three four days even a week and listen that's me saying a lot because number one my hair is not thick it is thin and i have looser texture curls so if you have thicker hair or kinkier hair you having a primer as a styler is not going to give you much hold or i don't even know if it'll give you enough definition maybe i'm going to give it to my best friend to try it out to see if uh it'll have different results with her hair but honestly my hair because it's thin and because it's a looser curl pattern I can get away with using a primer. Obviously, I'm not gonna get holes, so it can last me the whole week, but I cannot get away with having definition from just a primer. So if you do have thicker hair or kinkier hair, I don't I don't know. You're gonna have to try it out to find out. Let me know if you do in the comments, but I don't know. Great thing about Sephora is you can buy something, and if you use it and you don't like it, you can still return it and get your money back, even if the bottle is halfway empty. I put you on to game. So if you want to try out this line, try it out. If you don't like it, return it. You can get your money back. I will say though, I am loving the results. My hair feels soft. It feels moisturized. It doesn't feel oily, which is crazy because there's, this is where that invisible oil comes into play again. Because after reading the ingredients of all of the products, there is a lot of oils in all of the products. And my hair does not feel oily at all. It actually feels really soft and bouncy. And I don't have any residue in my fingers that you can be like, oh my God, this is an oily product. And that was honestly one of the things that I was nervous about, that it would have my hair looking limp and weighed down. Because this is the invisible oil line, I don't know what invisible oil means, but I like it. I'm here for it. It's popping. Despite me wanting more products in this product line, this product line is the Curl Poppy approved. I did enjoy the experience and I did like using each individual product. All right guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at the Curl Poppy because you already know we be posting some fleeky pics out here. And until next time guys, bye.